Hello and welcome to Light to Uncourt, the show where we break down your favorite made-for-TV movies one bottle at a time. I'm your host, Patrick Serrano, and today we are talking about The Nanny Stole My Life. The Nanny Stole My Life stars Katarina Edinburgh and... Jonathan Stoddard. Molly is suffering from postpartum depression and is facing the prospects of returning to work. It is stressing her out. Like, big time. (laughs) Molly's therapist suggests a mommy chat room to help find a nanny and to commiserate. Molly books and hires a nanny named Nikki, spelled with two C's and an I, Nikki is a natural with the baby, and she even stops Molly, the worst mother ever, from feeding her baby grout instead of formula. Come on. Uh, Molly, no! What? I j- are you sure that's formula? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't even remember opening the, I, uh... That is, that's not formula. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What if I, um... The mistake sends Molly into a tailspin and she starts hallucinating and becoming convinced that Nanny Nikki is poisoning her tea. When Nanny Nikki pulls a single white female and copies Molly's hairstyle, it seems like Molly might be onto something. Molly vents to her therapist about Nanny Nikki and the way she pronounces the word facade. But she keeps talking about people wearing masks. Putting on facades. Facades? That's how she pronounces it. But she is the one putting on a facade. She acts like she's here to help. But really, but really something is going on. The therapist ears perk up because she remembers that a former patient of hers said the word the same way. The therapist goes to Molly's house and tries to warn her. But... She is murdered off camera. Nanny Nikki becomes possessive over the baby and Molly's husband, Noah. Noah talks with Molly's friend, Lindsay, who he used to date, and they seem to be a little too close. Later, Lindsay helps Molly look into Nikki's background. Molly continues to act paranoid and sees bad mommy scrawled on a family portrait. Molly turns to the chat group for support and hears the pinging coming from Nanny Nikki's computer. Molly drops her baby off at work and goes to Nanny Nikki's childhood home, where she learns that Nikki was a mother who lost her baby young and is most likely trying to take Molly's daughter and no, steal her life. Alone. What? What? This is my baby. Molly tries to explain what is happening to her husband, Noah, but when he doesn't believe her, Molly grabs a knife and hides in the shed. It's in alone, and she finds the therapist's dead body. Nikki has a syringe and demands Molly give her the baby. Molly gives her a stuffed animal in a bait and switch and pushes her down the stairs. Lindsay shows up, and you're thinking they will hug it out and call the police, and that will be that. But then, Lindsay starts gaslighting her BFF, and it turns out she has been the killer all along. Lindsay was in love with Noah and felt that Molly stole the life that was meant to be hers. And Nikki jumps up from the bottom of the stairs and sticks Lindsay with the syringe. I really don't like her. Molly and Noah build a nursery at her work office because that seems like a brilliant idea. And that is The Nanny Stole My Life. The Nanny Stole My Life was an interesting Lifetime movie. First, Lindsay being the killer was totally a shock. And the nanny, Nikki, kind of trying to replace her child. That was that was sad. Um, I thought they did a good job. We could always use more Jonathan Stoddard. Maybe shirtless, please. I mean, hello. We've got this hunk. We've got to use him, right? The scene where Molly finds the dead body and she's like calling out for help is like, the thing of my nightmares, I've definitely had that, like, trying to call out for help, and you're just like, help, help, help. Oh, it was so so spot on of, like, a, a nightmare that is, like, common. Very good. The movie had one kill, which was obviously the therapist, 
And my enjoyment level for this movie, I would give a three out of five glasses of wine. Should you watch this movie? I would say pour it up. Let's pour it up for this one. It is a good example of a Lifetime movie where people think about parenting and the nanny being crazy. And then we just have the twist of, you know, it being the best friend, kind of gaslighting her friend. The montage of going back through everything and you're like, oh, okay, it makes total sense. Um, It was very satisfying. So uh, this would be a great entry level for anybody coming in who's like, "Hmm, what's a Lifetime movie about? And I'm like, this is what it's about. So it it gets to the point. Doesn't waste your time. Uh, And overall, fun, a fun watch. I think that's it for this week. Don't forget to check out my website, lifetimeuncourt.com. Follow me on social media at Patrick Miguel or the show at Lifetime Uncourt. And hey, if you're so inclined, please donate to our Kofi page. Links below. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye. Bye.